the question 78, and that's the matrix question. Uh, we haven't done much, we haven't done much of a discussion about the matrix spaces as vector spaces, and that's the one of these. Uh, the question says, consider the following matrices, matrix E1 of this structure, matrix E2 of this structure, max matrix E3 of this structure, and finally matrix E4 of the structure like this. The question goes to ask, uh, show that if you take a system of these matrices as vectors, this will be basis in this vector space. The vector space of two times two matrices with complex entries. We discussed this vector space, I mean, when we discussed canonical examples of vector spaces, I discussed this vector space, but since then we, we haven't done much of the examples. You may have done some examples in your tutorials. It's a very simple question. All I have to do, I have to just make one reference, I mean one identity. I have to write one identity, and here's my identity. If I take the linear combination of my uh, matrices, or my vectors, E1, E2, E3, and E4, like so. If I take such a linear combination, then by doing the matrix arithmetic, and we all know how, it, how to do the matrix arithmetic, how to scale matrices, how to add up matrices, this simply will do one single matrix with the entries like this, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, and lambda 4. So this identity by itself is already enough evidence to conclude that the set S is spanning. Because, you see, every matrix of size 2 times 2 with any complex entries can be split into such representation. Here it is. So just by writing such identity and saying the right words, you can claim that the, the system is spanning. You can also take this identity and prove with this that the system is linearly independent by just replacing this, by just saying that if I have a linear combination again of the same type, and if it happens to be zero matrix, then you have to, necessarily, you have to equate this zero matrix to this matrix, because that's the expression for the left-hand side. And then it means that every individual entry in your matrix will be zero, because that's how you equate matrices. So every individual entry will be zero. And that's the evidence that S is linearly independent. And that's my evidence that S is linearly independent. And so we have a basis, right? And that's why the dimension of the space of 2 times 2 matrices with complex entries is 4. By analogy, by analogy, you can establish that the dimension of the space of matrices of size M times K, so M rows K columns with complex entries, is simply M times K. That's all there is to this example. And actually, I uh, presented this example for with only one purpose, because it's a preparator, uh, I'm preparing some grounds for my next slide, which is quite advanced one.